Hello everyone, welcome to Productivity Central where we build real life use case business solutions and we have an entire playlist so do check it out. So today we will be building this beautiful non-conformance reporting app. What is non-conformance? Non-conformance reports are commonly known as NCR. They are used and issued by the quality engineers or consultants who are on site to a concerned party who deviated from their plan or specification of the construction project. This report has to be issued as soon as possible, even suggested on the same day for faster circulation of the document, thus lesser time consumed for rectification. And this is where this app will be immensely helpful for all the quality engineers on site. And using this app, they can create new NCRs, they can view all the NCRs, they can even contact the concerned department. So let me quickly show you the demo of this app. So this is our beautiful homepage and we have three tabs. In the first tab, you can directly click on it and you can create a new NCR report where you have the title, date, NCR number, the disposition and you have the department number and you you can write down all the instructions over here and the department responsible so this is a very simple ncr report you can change it as the way as you want the beauty about this app is you can print the report directly from here and issue the ncr on site thus saving quite a lot of time for quality engineers all you need to do is just click on this print button and it will open up the print page where you can uh, print out the entire sheet and hand it over to the concerned party. And we can add the entry by, by clicking on this button or we can go back. In the view all NCRs, you can view all the NCRs that have been issued. You can search them using uh, the first name of any of these items or you can add a new NCR from here by clicking on the plus icon. You can go back and you can even refresh your report. Apart from this, you can directly contact the concerned party by sending them an email. You can add a message and send them directly from the app. As you guys know, we build apps based on your feedback from our subscribers. And this was a topic that was requested from one of our subscribers. And uh, this is for them. So if you have any new projects, coming up for your company or if you are a freelancer who's building an app for another company and if you are having any issues and if you want help you can comment in the comment section and i would be glad to help if i can and if i cannot i'll let you know and guys if you are finding value from this video please do hit the like and the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notifications icon for instant notifications whenever I post these kind of helpful videos in the future. All right, without wasting any time, let's get started. We will be building this app in two simple steps. In the step one, we will create a SharePoint list. In the second step, we will create a power app using this SharePoint list and configure it. All right let's create a SharePoint list. So first we will go to our SharePoint homepage. If you have a SharePoint site, just click on this new button and click on list. And over here you can either create a blank list or you can use a template, but I will be using an Excel document that I all have already created. And I have a demo uh, document over here where I have some columns. So I will be using this Excel document and I will be adding it to the SharePoint list. And over here, I'm going to click on from Excel and I'm going to upload this Excel document. All right. Once I have uploaded the document, I will check all these items over here. So I will change this item. This is selected as number. I'm going to change it to date and time. Okay, perfect. That's correct. And over here, everything is perfectly fine. Now let's click on next. I'm going to name it NCR report one and I'm going to click on create. And if you want to change any specific columns, just click on them and go to column settings, click on edit. And over here you can just remove and then click on save. All right, perfect. So our SharePoint list is ready. Now let's create a power app directly from over here. All you need to do is just click on integrate, click on power app and click on create an app. 
and just name your app so I'm gonna name it app 20 and I'm gonna click on create all right so we have our app ready over here our basic app so we have three screens over here on the left hand side and we have our uh, platform over here where we can uh, configure the app and create a new one and over here on the right hand side we have the properties of all the elements over here now if we if you want to view the app which is currently in the basic state you can click on the preview button and over here you have a basic looking app where you have all your items you can view them you can edit them you can delete them and you can go back you can add a new ncr report this is the beauty about power apps power apps is a low code no code platform where you can build this amazing and extremely helpful applications with no coding required all right so let's go back i'm gonna close this all right the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna rename all the three screens all you need to do is just click on these three dots and click on rename and i'm gonna name it as screen one all right and i'm gonna name the other two screens as screen two and screen three all right perfect so now we have three screens so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the theme so over here i'm going to select the light green all right perfect so now we will add two new screens for that all you need to do is on the top left hand corner click on new screen and add a blank screen and one more time click on new screen and click on email screen all right perfect so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to rename the screen number four as the home okay perfect so this is our home screen and i'm going to take it to the top over here i'm going to click on these three dots and i'm going to click on move up so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start adding an image over here so for that what we're going to do is we're going to use canva for that canva is an amazing platform for content creators and there is a free version of it so do check it out so for now all we need to do is just click on create a design and in the search box we are going to type in phone and we are going to select phone wallpaper and the beauty about canva is that there are so many pictures that are freely available in the free version so you can use it in your applications so i will put a link in the description below do check it out their free version so over here i'm gonna select this specific picture and i'm gonna align it over here all right so once my uh, background is ready all i need to do is click on download all right now let's head head back to our power apps platform in the power apps platform if you want to add an image all you need to do is just click on this option over here and just click on upload and just select the file and upload it all right so i have the design over here i have selected the design now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just align it accordingly so that it fits the screen all right perfect so our background is ready now let's start adding the elements so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add three buttons for that you need to go to insert and click on button so first we will configure this button then we will add two more buttons over here so apart from this we will add a label so on the top left hand side click on label and let's bring it over here and let's arrange it accordingly and i'm going to add one logo over here so i'm going to go back to the media section over here on the left hand side and click on upload and i'm going to bring in the logo over here so i'm going to align it accordingly so that it fits right across over here perfect and over here in the label i'm just gonna rename it as non-conformance reporting so i'm gonna select this label and on the right hand side under the text i'm just gonna change it and i'm gonna type it non-conformance reporting perfect and we're gonna align it in the middle and let's change the font weight to bold and let's change the font size to 35 all right now let's align it accordingly over here all right perfect so this is done now let's start working on our button just select the button over here and uh, you can change the text 
and uh, we're gonna change the border radius from zero we're gonna change it to 40 and uh, let's increase the size so just stretch from the borders and let's align it accordingly in the middle and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also change the color of the button so from here I'm just gonna change it to white and I'm gonna also change the color of the text from white I'm gonna change it to green and uh, now as you can see our borders are not visible so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the border from 2 to 5 and this color from white to green all right perfect so our button is ready so now let's click on it and uh, you can either right click on it and click on copy and just paste it two times that's one and that's two perfect now let's align it accordingly in the middle so now we have our three beautiful buttons now let's rename the second button over here and we're gonna rename it as view all NCRs all right perfect and the last one we're gonna rename it as contact all right perfect so now on the left hand side click on the tree view and over here we have all the screens all right so now let's start working on our screen number three which is the new screen so just click on this so first minimize everything and just maximize the screen number three and click on edit form and over here on the right hand side on the properties section you can edit the fields you can add the fields by clicking on this add field button or if you want to remove the fields you can just select it and click on remove or you can you if you want to move the fields up you can do that as well now what we want to do is we want to add a print button over here we will click on icons and we will add a print button over here all right so the print button I'm gonna put it over here and I'm gonna change the color from green over here on the right hand side to white and now the on select function of this button has been set to false what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it to print function all right perfect so now if we view this app currently if we click on this and it gives us the print option over here and we can print it directly from over here now what we want to do is we want the bottom elements to be visible so that uh, the entire report is printed and we also want to remove these elements or we can even better we can hide these elements so that these are not visible in the report so now let's start working on them so let's go back and over here on the left hand side click on this rectangular quick action bar and over here on the on select just click on this arrow and let's find the property for visible right now it's set to true so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in an option over here so that it's not visible during printing so I have set it to not parent dot printing so that it is not visible so this is done now let's view the app let's click on print all right perfect so now we need to just work on two things one is we need to hide this one and we need to have the bottom option visible now let's hide let's go back now let's click on this print button and let's find the visible property for this and it is set to true so just remove it and just put not parent dot printing now if we preview the app and if we click on print now it's gone now what we want to do is just uh, edit this text we just want to have it as ncr report and we will align it in the middle and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fix this option over here so let's click on cancel and let's go back now let's click on this ncr report one 
just remove the one let's align this in the middle and just stretch this over here all right that's perfect now on the left hand side click on edit form now over here you have some options for the layout right now the layout is in vertical all you need to do is just click on horizontal now as you can see we have lots of real estate available and our form now we can arrange the elements accordingly so over here what we're gonna do is we're gonna move all the boxes a bit towards the left hand side so just I'm just gonna select all the items and I'm gonna just align it accordingly the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on edit form and we're going to bring in these this option rework instructions over here so that now I'm going to click on edit fields and I'm going to click on these three dots and I'm going to click on move down and I'm going to do it one more time. All right, perfect. So that's done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move this box to the bottom. And we're gonna stretch this over here like this and the same thing we are gonna do it for the text I'm just gonna stretch this box like that and the same thing I'm gonna do it for rework instructions as well so that our report looks much better when we are printing it so now I'm gonna stretch this over here all right perfect so now our form our report is ready so you can arrange these boxes accordingly according to your needs and uh, so now let's try to print the report so let's preview the app so this is the entire new screen so when we click on preview all right perfect so we have our NCR report on the top and we have the boxes clean and everything looks good and it's much much better so this printing feature will save a lot of time for our quality engineers as they can issue the report then and there itself by just printing it from their phone directly to the printer after typing all the necessary details all right perfect so now i'm going to click on cancel and let's head back now what we're going to do is we're going to add the navigation over here so just select the button for the new ncr so right now on select it's set to false just remove that now what we're going to do is we want to navigate the user when they click on new ncr we want them to navigate to screen number three so just enter this statement over here navigate screen three comma none perfect now we will do this for the remaining two buttons as well so let's click on the next button and whenever we click on this we want uh, to be navigated to screen number one where we can see all the new ncrs okay so let's remove false and let's type in screen number one select that all right perfect and whenever we click on contact we want them to navigate to screen number five so just select contact and just remove false and uh, just change this from screen three to screen five all right perfect so now what we want to do is whenever uh, the user goes to let's say screen number five we don't have the back button over here so that when they click on the back button they head right back to the home screen so let's work on screen number five so first let's arrange this over here and let's click on icons and let's find a left icon all right perfect let's click on this and let's change the color of this from green to white and let's arrange and align it accordingly now in this by selecting this left button what we're going to do is on the on select property we're going to type navigate and what we want to do is we want the user to navigate to home screen perfect now this is done 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this and I'm going to head over to the screen number one and over here I'm going to align this over here and I'm going to just select this and I'm going to paste this left button. Perfect. Now let's preview the app over here when we click on new NCR. Now we have the new NCR screen over here. You can enter the title. So let's say it's wrong material. So now let's add this entry. And now when we go to view new NCRs, so we have our new entry over here. Now when we click on it, we can edit it. We can delete this entry and we can go back. And from this screen, you can also create a new NCR report. You can search for the items directly from over here and you can go back to your home screen. So these two buttons are perfect. Now when we click on contact, we have our beautiful contact screen where you can enter the email address of the person uh, in your uh, email list and you can send them an email directly from here. When we click on the back, it goes back to the home screen. All right, perfect. So our application is ready. Uh, I hope you guys found value in this video and uh, you built some beautiful apps for your companies. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please do mention in the comment section or if you have a new project that you are working on, uh, please do let us know and we can share it with everyone uh, and we can actually build an application and share it with everyone. Uh, that would be helpful for all the people learning Power Apps. Um, yeah, if you like the video, please hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notifications icon for instant notifications whenever I post new helpful videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day guys.